When creating or modifying geometry in the new 3D system, you will see new path and mask knobs. Path knobs are new for nodes that create or import geometry and allow you to specify where imported objects live in Nuke's new scene graph based hierarchy. Mask knobs are for nodes that modify geometry and allow you to specify which parts of your scene graph you want a node to affect. With the GeoCard, we can see the path knob defaults to parent node name. This is an expression using tokens and allows Nuke to set an artist friendly path so that a unique ID is always created and you don't have to worry about populating this yourself if you don't want to. Expressions allow you to work quickly and intuitively when you just want to throw some nodes down and get working, but also allow users to create more complex and advanced selections when desired for even greater control. If you would like to customize where your geometry lives in your scene graph, you can by simply editing this path to be whatever you want. Changes will be immediately updated in the scene graph and gives you greater control over how you manage and work with your scenes. For modifier nodes like GeoTransform, we can use the new mask knob to specify what we want to manipulate. The mask path defaults to last modified, which is an expression that is an artist friendly way to say have this node just affect the node that was last modified. So the geo transform moves the geometry of the node above it and you as an artist don't have to do anything to see this result. The most technically accurate way to think of last modified is meaning apply the effect to whatever was changed by the previous node. But for simplicity, I like to think of it as just meaning affect the node above this one. This behavior is new to the new 3D system and differs from the classic system where a modifier node would affect everything upstream of it rather than just the node above. We chose the new behavior because when working with extremely large scale scenes, it can be very detrimental to have a modifier node affect everything all at once. It can be like setting the default of a blur to 1000 and having to wait for it to process. If we want the new classic behavior though, then we can use an expression and simply type forward slash star. This expression essentially says select everything from the root of the scene graph down and therefore we are able to modify all nodes in the chain just like classic nuke. There are a number of expression workflows creating more advanced selections in a scene and gives artists greater depth and control for what you want to modify in your scene. We can also manually populate the mask path by dragging and dropping from the scene graph using the picker icon to select directly in the viewer or even shift click to add multiple selections. With the new path and masking knobs, we really want to put an intuitive and powerful new workflow in the hands of artists.